All right, here we go. Uh, mostly got my voice back and uh, perfect timing because I just got the Signal SDR Pro and I wanted to do a quick video because I had been messing around with the uh, repository you see up that I uh, that I have on the screen here. It's from the same individual that put together the Osmo uh, network uh, in the box scripts that uh, basically created a GSM network and did some things like auto messaging and um, calling of phones. I, I always thought it was the coolest thing. Obviously do what you need to do to uh, keep your uh, signals uh, contained. Um, not advocating anything with this uh, video more than uh, experimenting. Uh, so make sure you got stuff uh, in some kind of Faraday cage or, or whatever. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show that the Signal SDR yeah, I think I'm saying that wrong. Yeah, the Signal SDR Pro by Signal Lens, uh, which um, Signal Lens and um, Hacker Warehouse both generously uh, sent over this way. Uh, so this is just uh, kind of boom, out of the box, experimenting with it. Uh, not really rehearsed any of this other than to quickly try the Osmo Network in Docker container the other day, but this will be the first time live here trying it with the uh, Signal SDR. This is Dragon OS <clears throat> that's in the background here. I've changed nothing uh, in terms of the bin file or UHD or anything other than the fact that uh, UHD that comes in Dragon OS is a modified version to also account for the Ant SDR, but I've done nothing beyond that. So you can see here that it's, it's just seen as a B210 with changing nothing. Uh, which I, th I thought was really cool. And so what we're going to need to do is we're going to grab this repository. And I already have Docker, uh, let me think, I already have Docker up and running on this install of Dragon OS because I was running a TAC server. So we should have everything that we need. If you're running on a stock Dragon OS, uh, you're going to have to install um, what you need for Docker and Docker Compose. But uh, let me think. So kind of cool thing here. I, like, again, I don't have to change the bin file or anything like that. We're going to look at the config file re uh, real quick here because we need to make a change for the uh, B210. So if we look in configs and use your favorite editor, I'm going to leave everything default here, the short name, long name. Uh, you know, GSM 900 should be fine. And then we see we can get down to the device type. So I'm going to change that to UHD. TXRX. TXRX. I'm going to change the clock reference to internal because I don't have an external one handy. Internal. I'm not going to really worry about APN in this uh, demonstration. Uh, let's see what else. So we could turn on the SMS. You could see what it's going to send there by default. Oops. And call is enabled. See the voice file favorite. Uh, sounds like some uh, monkeys or something is the default in asterisk when the phone calls. You can use uh, USSD messages as well. So I'll leave it at that. The other thing is uh, I'll try, which I had not uh, tried be before, is these helper scripts. We'll take a look at that real quick. But I just want to show you how easy this is to get up and running. You may remember I did a lot of videos about OsmoCom Network in the Box, and so all the components were installed. It's a, they are installed natively on Dragon OS. That took a while to get right. and So this is now all packaged in a Docker. Um, I don't know. I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think there's use cases for Dockers. I like them, or I've grown to like them, although I still like stuff natively on the operating system. Uh, just to show you, so I'm not, uh, so internal, I'm going to use the internal on the uh, Signal SDR. And so this is a Samsung S3, and this is a OnePlus 2, I believe it is. And we're going to see if we can get a connection with both of these. So really all we need to do is, uh, and I've set up my docker where it doesn't need sudo, so docker compose up, 
this uh, box of course has uh, internet and while that's kind of setting up just point out that uh, this is SCR CPY is a, a program that you can install in Linux that allows you to um, screen share basically over a wired connection of Android so the phones are elsewhere um, along with the SDR and so it allows me to remotely do what I need to do we'll let this finish but the goal here is uh, I'll just show you like hey we'll get this uh, connected and we can see how stable this is and the phones can connect they should re both receive automatic calls and text messages uh, I'll try some of the scripts and we'll see what else I can do but again I've not really messed with this much yet that's uh, something I want to get into another thing I'll point out is this is all being recorded on a uh, of all things of a, a war dragon that is rust desk connected to another PC that I have sitting uh, remotely uh, well off to the side here inside this 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 setup I've got uh, that's what you see the uh, speed and, and I just was trying to see how good the stream is when I'm doing rust desk this should be about finished and so now I'm looking for the network to start up you see I've again made no changes this is the signal SDR Pro recognized and it takes a second uh, which is normal it takes a second here uh, in getting set up and started so you'll see uh, this basically the response uh, waiting I don't know about 30 seconds or so and it should start both of the phones have uh, sim cards in them and so now we can see we're getting a response and it's setting power so what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the airplane mode on each it might get a little busy here with phones being called and such uh, but we'll give it a second here I see one this one's already connecting it's probably gonna get a call here and you can kinda of see the debug output that's occurring here so yep there's one got called and there's the audio it also got a, the text message you just saw and let's see with the other phone here let's see what we get in terms of it connecting which it did earlier but of course uh, let's see Okay, there we go. Let's see. And we got a call coming in on there as well. Okay. All right, so we have two phones, GSM phones oop, connected. And now it is possible to set up, like I was saying briefly, the eGPRS for data. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to do that right now. Let's see. Let's see if we can take a look at the helper scripts. All right, so I cut out a good portion. I'm just coming back to say uh, a successful test with the Signal Pro SDR. Uh, and two phones connecting receiving calls text uh, I was briefly gonna show messing around with the scripts in here that allow you to monitor the subscribers and show the MZs and all that stuff but 
I really don't want to go through blurring everything out so I will play with this more and um, just get a better understanding of calls phone to phone and then of course kind of progress on to um, LTE and, and, and 5G and, and things like that but uh, I've always liked this the Osmo network in the box script so it's good to see that the author developer of that is back with some new applications and what better timing to link it up with the uh, SDR from Signal Lens uh, as well as the Hacker Warehouse so uh, thank you to uh, Signal Lens and Hacker Warehouse for making this possible and yeah I just wanted to put this together real quick and just enjoy the weekend alright thanks